both proud. So as the title suggests, I have escaped Dadkov in that I'm essentially done with the series. Um, first off, the Band-Aid is because I have Impetigo on my chin. It really sucks. I get it just about every year. I thought I had dodged it this year. I did not. Uh, so I've got that covered up so that I don't spread it to Sim Baby. Second up, I had a lot of fun playing Tarkov. I enjoy the game, but I think the actual decision is this is probably not a good game for me to pursue making content for right now. There's a couple reasons. I'm going to show you a clip at the end that I think kind of shows all of them. I was looking through like the streamers that I enjoy watching, some of whom play Tarkov, some play PUBG, some play all kinds of different games, honestly. And there's basically multiple different types of streamer. There's the personality streamer. This is the person who's just, you're watching them because you enjoy their personality and feel like this is somebody that would be a good friend, somebody I'd want to hang out with. For me, an example of that would be Choco Taco. I kind of don't care what he's playing. I just want to go chill with Choco Taco. Um, the second person out, like the second like archetype of streamer, if you will, is the streamer that's just so good at what they're doing that you're just watching a master at work. This would be like watching Darkest Mage play Limited Magic. Like watching MJ, he, he may not be the most entertaining guy uh, personality-wise, but the dude just understands the workings of the game in a way that I think is just better than most players. If you want to go a little more wide ranging, it would be an example of like watching Shroud playing a shooty game. He's just going to be so good. You're just kind of mind blown. I think the third type of streamer is the type of streamer that I was when I was streaming a lot of magic and a lot of underlords and other strategy games. And that's the teacher. I wasn't necessarily the most entertaining person to watch play. And although I was good, I wasn't the best. But what I was very good at was teaching new players how to come into the game and learn how to play it. And I had so much experience with Magic that that was very easy to do there as far as draft went. And back in the Underlords days, I understood that game well enough to be able to provide that sort of content. And that brings me to a bit of a bottleneck in Tarkov and that I don't have the time to get good at the game as a 45 year old uh, stay at home dad who streams on the weekends, like reflexes are also going to be a problem and it leads to some impatience when I'm playing. That's what you'll see in this clip at the end, which I'm going to say is, is the permadeath of escape from Tarkov is there's a duo that I completely have the drop on. And if I'd, if I'd thought or had a little bit more experience, I would have hidden and just let them run by or at least set up a better shot. Instead, I mag dumped, missed all my shots, ran into a wall, and just died and got frustrated. I don't think I can get to the point where I could use my teaching skills for Tarkov. Uh, it would take years. I need to be playing a strategy game. I think I'll be happier playing a strategy game. I think I'll make better content playing a strategy game. And I also think from a dad perspective, at least with the age that she is now at 16 months, it was probably really ambitious for me to try to do a YouTube series like this. Um, she naps for between 40 minutes to two hours a day. I never know exactly how long. There's some chores I need to get done. And spending basically 30 minutes working on a video was eating up a lot of the time I had to mentally recharge so that when she wakes up, I'm excited to go sing about wheels on the bus or go to the playground, you know, and, and do those sorts of things, which is really what I need to be focusing on. So I think this is going to be a conclusion to the Escape from Dadkov series, as well as a conclusion to YouTube for at least a little bit. Um, once I find a game that I'm happy with, um, maybe I'll try to make some content with that, but it would be very sporadic and not any sort of series like this. That said, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and tell all your friends. And come by the stream at twitch.tv slash simulan. Uh, it's going to be a little more casual now, but we'll have some fun. Um, and I'll be learning a new game so that I can teach it to folks down the road. I really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for bearing with me on this journey. It's, uh, it's been interesting. But I think while I'm not doing as great at streaming and content creation as I used to, I think I'm being a good dad. And honestly, that makes me really happy. I love that baby and my wife. And I'll have plenty of time to work on this stuff when she starts school, which is going to be right around the corner. It's kind of mind-blowing. All right.
Appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time. And uh, I'm happy I escaped. <laughs> I, I can't end without saying I still like Tarkov and I'll probably still play in that magical future where I do have time for games. It's just not right now. All right. With that, adios. Mark a truck and leave. Thought I could get through the fence there, but you can't. I don't know that that was the smartest tactical gameplay I've ever had, but we tried.